our very own cooking confidence coach Nanny Bubby is back in studio thanks to Chapman Automotive, the sponsors of this segment today. We are learning how to make roasted chestnut soup. And yes, I'm so excited. It's but not delicious. before you get your <gasps> own spread love like butter apron from Nanny okay. Bubby Swag. You how just, do you like that? You just love to Yes, I love to eat. Last get time up. I got yeah. confirmation affirmation cards. <laughs> and confirmation, confirmation cards. cards. <laughs> that works too. Let me move my mic so my so producer doesn't yell at me. The weather outside is frightful. Uh -huh. And so what better to be eating today rather than soup? And oh, this is roasted chestnut soup. Ooh, so let me just tell you, hearty. unless I am snowed in in Brian Head, okay. unless there is absolutely nothing else to do, I am not roasting my own chestnuts to make soup. <laughs> and that's why you, we get these fabulous, you know, Melissa's oh, Produce gives us all the produce for our uh, programs. And this is how they come, already roasted, already steamed, already mm -hmm. peeled. You open that up and put them in. And why don't you taste one? I kept those out just for you to taste it. Okay. This is, this is a first for me. What am Yes, it is. So let me just tell you how we started this. We started with onions. Actually really good. Yes, aren't they? They taste yeah. like brandy a little yeah. bit. Um, so we started with the onions, and we steamed and sweated the onions. Then we... Um, then we also put in carrots and celery, mm -hmm. and now they've caramelized. Now, you can see the brown bits at the bottom of there, mm -hmm. but that is not that's burned. Nice. Yes, that's caramelization, and we are putting in four ounces of sherry into this. Mm -hmm. Right, it'll steam off the alcohol. Do you smell that? I do. Isn't that fabulous? Oh, my gosh. Okay, and now what we're going to do is just turn this up a little bit because we want all of this to get absorbed. Okay. So while this is absorbing, and then we're going to put everything else in, but why don't you pick a, uh, <gasps> pick a cooking affirmation okay. card because I will tell you what I am anxious about with this recipe. You're, you're anxious? I'm anxious. I'm anxious because this <laughs> timing for the caramelization and absorbing of the sherry just so what'd you get? <gasps> what'd you say? I feel like I got this one last time. I make time to cook creatively today and every day. So you want to know what? I picked that too. Is that orange? Yeah. Yes, it is. Oh my God, I picked we're, that. We're I did. I picked it. That's, yes, we are. It's we're Capricorn aligned. season. Okay, it is. It is Capricorn season. Okay, we turn this down. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add six cups of broth. Ooh, calls for chicken broth. But my daughter's a vegetarian, and I'm taking the soup over to them okay. after this show. Oh. And we're going to also add leeks. And you want to show everybody what leeks actually look like? Because mm -hmm. some people don't know. Maybe even you don't. But those are leeks. There you go. Okay. Putting those in. You can put, there you go. You can put that over there. These are the chestnuts. God bless you, Kendall. <laughs> These are the chestnuts. And we chop them up. And those come right out of this bag. They're just ready to rock and roll. So they look into like mushrooms. The, That's interesting. They do. They do, actually. You're right. And also, we're going to put in two bay leaves. So one, okay. two, three, four. And then we're going to let this simmer for about 25 minutes. It's so funny you put two bay leaves in that giant pot. That's yeah. how strong Yeah, they are. Is. So just put those over there because we're going to okay. come back to over here. Okay. okay. And so now, while this is simmering, let's mm -hmm. step over here. <gasps> Ooh, look and at let's that take color. a look at this. So we're going to take these two bay leaves out. Okay. Because they have Are they not some, edible? No, they're not. And we are going to, the one thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this soup mm -hmm. and we're going to use an immersion blender and watch what happens here. This is uh -oh. so fun. Yeah, I know. It's so fun. <laughs> but it turns it very creamy. So this is very brothy looking, yeah. correct? But you're going to take this and you go round and round. <laughs> going to step away. Yeah, step away. <laughs> no wonder you gave me this an apron This is you, why you wear an apron. And wow, it's turned it into cool. an amazing cream soup. So... My you just little, turn that broth into cream soup? It, it does, and it, it just creams because of the blender. Wow. So you can also pour this right into a, you know, uh, a home blender on the counter, a counter blender. That's amazing. But do you see how creamy that gets? Where can you get one of those? Anywhere. Anywhere? Oh, yeah, Amazon, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, Williams Sonoma. Okay. So we're now gonna, we have 30 seconds, and I want to okay. taste this. All right, so here we go. <laughs> Okay. Wow. There we go. Really cool tool. Okay. So into here. Mm -hmm. So it's not quite as blended as I wanted it to be. But, but the flavors. hey, yes, the flavors are, are incredible. So we're going to take this. Mm. It's good. We're going to put a little bit of parsley okay. as a garnish, a little bit of chestnuts on, right on top, and start your spoon. <gasps> mm -mm -mm. Okay. Mmm, that is delicious. 
It is delicious. Oh, that's perfect for a rainy day. And every day. And every okay. day. Thank you. Check out Nanny Bubby's Kitchen and Garden on social media and online at nannybubby.com. And we also want to thank Chapman Automotive <laughs> for sponsoring this segment. It's so good. We'll be right back. <laughs>